Hey guys, welcome back to another Sith Geek YouTube video and we've got official images for the set number 75318 and it's the child, the UCS child, Baby Yoda, the UCS Baby Yoda. Basically, it's a very similar set to what Yoda was, the UCS Yoda, but it's uh, the child here. It's not as cute as a couple of mocks I've made it out to be, so it's not as good as I thought it'd be, but I'm still going to pick it up. It still looks awesome and I think it'll be a great display right next to the Yoda. I want to do a comparison between Yoda and the child when they come out. Anyway, yeah, I said the set name is the child. The set number is seven five three one eight. The parts are unknown right now, but Yoda when he came out was one thousand eight hundred around that sort of parts listing. So it's probably slightly under that, maybe one thousand six hundred, one thousand five hundred sort of parts there. It's going to retail for seventy nine ninety nine dollars, pretty much confirmed if you know what I mean, because that's what it was said on the shelf with these images. The shelf and the images are coming from Luxembourg and a, a store in Luxembourg there, so that's why we don't have any like parts on the actual box itself, unlike another uh, other regions. And uh, yeah, so we'll take a look at the images in just a second. And the final bit of information is we are thinking it's rumored to be available the 1st of November 2020. And this is going to be the cheapest way to get your hands on the Baby Yoda because the Razor Crest is $120, $130, and this is only $80. Anyways, guys, let's take a look at the images. So we've got three images to take a look at here. The first image is this one. It's on the shelf. We can see it's right next to another uh, child here. It's looking awesome. Ages 10 plus, the Mandalorian, the child. We can see in the bottom right hand corner, we get the child there looking so cool. He also comes with this ball, which, if you don't already know, is a little spoiler from the Mandalorian. And uh, this ball is part of like a gear knob that man, uh, the baby child here takes and plays with while the, mon uh, the, Mand while the Mandalorian's uh, flying the Razor Crest, which is awesome. We can see the price down here at $79.50. I just put in uh, $79.99 because it looked better and uh, the barcode and that sort of stuff as well. So that's the first image. So it was looking clean. We have a good background image here. Don't know what's quite going on. I think it's the Razor Crest background. And that's why he's holding the, uh, the knob there. You can see the edge of the Razor Crest as well in the background. So that's cool. And the next image is this one, which is a better image of the front of the box. We have a little haze down at the bottom right hand corner. So we can't really see the uh, the minifigure as well. But we have the, uh, the Mandalorian in the top right hand corner as we have for the Razor Crest as well. So that's awesome so that it symbolizes that it is the Mandalorian uh, wave of sets. And the last image is the back of the box, which is awesome because we can see some of what's included here. It seems to be on like a table of some sort or maybe uh, the floor of the Razor Crest, but we can see everything going on here. We can see the schematics on uh, how tall he is. Uh, so 21 centimeters uh, wide and uh, 19 centimeters tall. So that's awesome as well. So slightly smaller than the Yoda. Uh, I, want, I want to see comparison between them so bad. We can see his grip. So that's how he's gripping the, the ball here, which is part of uh, the uh, Mandalorian's Razor Crest gear knob there. And we have a UCS plaque that we get with all these buildable figures. We can see the small baby Yoda right next to it. We can see the articulation, the fingers, the grip. We can uh, make him cuter by putting his ears down and up, which is awesome as well. And we have some articulation and motion um, between the head, which can spin around, which is cool. So if he's happy, his uh, ears will be as high as they can be. And if he's sad, they'll be as low as they can be, uh, much like a dog, which is pretty funny. Anyways, guys, that is all the information and images I have for you today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Hit that post notification bell to get updated with all the LEGO Star Wars news coming to your face as soon as I get my hands on it. And yeah, peace out. Have a nice rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.